fight nights, fat shaming, and homophobic and racist slurs. Just some of the allegations against a church program in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, that ran from 2005 to 2013. NBC News digital senior writer Corky Shemashko joins us now. Uh, Corky, these are some pretty serious accusations against Bethany Church. You spoke with some of the teen participants and their parents. What did they tell you? Well, they said they said that they signed up for an elite Christian program that was supposed to turn them into ministerial material and strengthen their faith and faith. And instead, they were sort of subjected to this brutal regimen where uh, they were made to be aimed at breaking them and making them subservient to the church. Among other things, they were you know forced to fight each other forced to carry heavy logs through the sweltering heat to, 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 to replicate what it might have been like for Christ with the cross and things like that. Oh, shit. What is the church saying about these accusations? Is it defending itself at all? What, what's its response? It, it, it is. Yeah, they, the, the church is flatly flatly denied, you know, staging fight uh, fight nights and things like that. And they insist, you know, and they, they insist they, that uh, some of the worst allegations are not true. Um, but but they also have uh, but their pastor uh, uh, Jonathan Stocksell has also issued a an apology for uh, you know bad experiences people might have had during the program and part of the reason we we got we found out about this is because we spotted the apology on Facebook which was very unusual. Wow. Oh, well, good to hear. Yeah, for sure. And good to hear, Corky, that that it has at least ended. Thanks so much for your reporting today and for coming on News Now. Pleasure's mine. Thank you. Shalom, Master Riley. I want to give infinite honor to our Heavenly Father and our Great King, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rukaku Dash. I want to give double honor to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, who the Most High used to bless us with this glorious gospel. And salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shah, pushing this truth across the four winds, making that calling an election assured by abounding in this labor of love. Shalom to you, brothers. All right. Now, this clip here, man, is so amusing to me because this is the whorehouse I grew up in. All right. This is the church where uh, my parents took me to get brainwashed. To, uh, this is where I learned about white Jesus. All right. These doctrines of devils. This is where I learned uh, Christmas, Easter. Uh, just all the madness that goes on in uh, modern day Christianity, which is at enmity with the doctrine of life. All right, and and the thing about it, when you are connected to the matrix, you know what? I'm not even gonna read none of this. The thing about it, when you're connected to the matrix, you don't, you can't see what's going on. All right, you you you're in, in, you're covered by perverse darkness. But now that we've been pulled out of this dark perverse world into Yahweh Bashim Shah's marvelous light we could, we got eyes to see and ears to hear you see and I know this was going on uh, while I was there alright when I was there I didn't see it I sent the, what I did see uh, with my secular eyes I did see racism because it's a mega church with 8,000 people there the vast majority of the people is the tribe of Judah but the underling pastors that would rise up in the power at the church would always be Edomites in a church just full of Jake. You know what I'm saying? So I did see that with my natural eyes. But all of this stuff here, having fight nights, and it's more, it's more. I just didn't really feel like reading the whole article. All right, these are the things that happen in these whorehouses we call churches, man. And the Most High is exposing them, all right? He's exposing all the folly on the planet Earth because we're living in a time of judgment. So he everything, whether your goods are, your good your deeds are good or bad, is gonna be brought to the light in these last days. And the most high is exposing all wickedness on the planet Earth. This is Mark chapter four, verse twenty two. For there is nothing hid which should not be manifested, all right? They've been hiding these things in these whorehouses and more are going to come out. Not just the church I grew up in and all these churches. These poor pit pimps that's um, having sex with the men and women in the church because these guys are sodomites too, man. But you got you got a lot of them that's dealing with other men's wives in these churches and this is the stuff that go on in, all, in these whorehouses. The money rackets they got in these churches, the way they, they, they uh, uh, come together and, and get in cahoots how they're going to manipulate uh, the people for money because 
when I was growing up, T.D. Jakes used to come there as a guest and preach. And when he would come, that church, man, you couldn't even get people to come in there. And you know that, that those days when he came, he made so much fucking money. When I say the, the people would get turned around because there was so many people coming to hear that nigga T.D. Snakes teach, all right, all of these is what they call sister churches, brother churches in, the, in those whole houses. And these guys with these mega churches, they do things to make money, all right, to make merchandise of the people. In fact, let me get that, all right? That's why it's imperative, man. You got to wake up. And get out of that bullshit, all right? Uh, so I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off at the top. Second Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false prophets among you, false teachers among you, who probably shall bring in damnable heresies, all right? Christmas, Easter, all right? All of the things that they do. Gender equality. Uh, salvation is for everybody. Uh, it's universal. All that shit... Is, is wicked heresies, damnable heresies, even denying Hamashiach that bought them. Yeah, they changed our great king into a, a so-called white man, a, a, a leper skin, so-called white man, all right? So that's denying him, all right? They, and they just flipped his doctrine. Everything he taught, they took his scriptures and mangled them, okay? And bring up in themselves swift destruction. Now we're about to start seeing the swift destruction of these whorehouses you call churches, okay? I'm going to skip down, and, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, all right? And our people do. Our people going to follow them right into a, a fucking concentration camp, right into uh, getting a, a, a microchip jabbed up in them, so on and so forth, by reasons of whom the way the truth shall be spoken evil of. And people uh, do speak evil of uh, the Bible now because of these wicked motherfuckers. You got a lot of people living the, leaving the Christian church, and the reason they're leaving it, because they see all the folly that goes on. Now people speaking evil, all the Bible is plagiarized. If they, they look at these people in high places where if this is a man of God, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. This nigga is wicked, okay? These are the type of things that go on. And these are prophecies being fulfilled, all right? And through covenant shall they, with fame words, make merchandise of you. And it's a money racket, all right? Because to go to this camp, that, that they say that these people all right let me give you the example of what goes on in this church when you come so-called give your life to to jesus christ at that church all right they they um send you to a, a um a week a week boot camp where, where they, you so-called get well where they're brainwashing that the, the week boot camp starts with a, with a brainwashing then after you get with the week boot camp, this is how I was going when I was there. Now they say they have a boot camp that goes 10 months. But when I was there, after you got with the week boot camp, you would get in a cell group, all right? And this is what a cell group was. A cell group would be 10 families or, or, and for the youth. They would have an adult over it, an adult over it, and you would go to a cell group every Saturday, whatever... Uh, Whatever part of the city you stayed in, you have a cell group in every part of the city, the church that fucking big. So it didn't matter if you stayed in the south side of Baton Rouge, north side of Baton Rouge, Shellwood, other side of town. They have cell groups all over the fucking um, city that you would have to get uh, a hold of. And you would go to youth church on Wednesdays. The cell groups on Saturday, church on Sundays. Okay. And then they had two, then they built another church on the other side of town. So they actually have two churches, okay? And while you're there, you're getting brainwashed, man. You just, you, you, uh, you're you always there, all right? And they're just, they're just driving that, that, that Christian philosophy in you. Go vote. Vote. That's what they, in a church, all right? According to scriptures, the scriptures say, hate the evil, love the good. Light has no place of darkness. But in church, what are they going to tell you to do? Go vote for a president. Pick one of the lesser evils. All right, that philosophy starts in the Christian church. Uh, pick one of the lesser evils. That saying, okay? The scriptures don't tell us to pick none of the lesser evil. They tell us to have no, no um, connection with the fruitful works of darkness, all right?
It tells us to be, be ye separate. So they tell you to pick one of the lesser evils and go in the voting booth and vote vote for a Roman emperor, man, over you, to lord over you. No matter if he's for uh, abortion, uh, even if he's for gay marriage, all right? That, that's where you go and learn these doctrines of the devils, okay? Now let me skip down to uh, verse, I'm going to start at verse 17. These are wells without water. A well without water? Wait, what, what, what is it? Is 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 nothing. It can't bring no life to anyone. Okay? The most I liken this, these people, these these uh poor pit pimps, to wells without water. A well is has is stored water in it to what? For you to go get water out of it so you can live, man. Alright? So if it's a well without water, what happens to a person that has a well without water? He's going to die of fucking thirst, all right? He don't have those rivers of living water. Clouds that are carried away with tempers, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever, all right? So they don't have the truth, man, all right? We have the rivers of living water. That's the truth, okay? For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, come pay your tithes and God going to give you a blessing. Will a man rob God? All right, on one hand, they tell you the, the law of Moses is done away with, but then on the next hand, they want you to come keep uh, the commandment of tithing, which is in the law of Moses. All right? And they tell you if you pay your tithes, you're going to be blessed. All right, that's vanity. All right, and it's also a doctrine of devils. They are lured through lust of the flesh. It's all about money. Okay? They, they equate being blessed by God is by having a lot of money and a lot of resources. And, you, and we're going to get that um, in 1 Timothy 6 to show that's a lie. Through much warnings, those that were clean escape from them who live in error. So when you get away from them, you're supposed to stay away from that shit. You don't go back to that wicked, perverse shit. When the Most High pulls you out of this truth and gives you that doctrine of life, you stay away from the motherfuckers, man. All right. While they promised them liberty, all right, they say you come to Jesus Christ, the kingdom of heaven awaits you. All right, they promise you the kingdom. All right, but this is what the scriptures say: they themselves are servants of corruption. Man, they are they are uh, demons from hell, man. Okay, they are they are sa Satan's henchmen. All right, they're doing his bidding. For of whom a man is overcome, the same is brought back into a bondage. So the worst thing you could do is. <coughs> Come to this truth, learn your nationality, get this truth, get this dodge in the life, and then go back to your vomit, fucking with <coughs> these people in these whorehouses who think that gain is godliness, all right? For such, withdraw yourselves. Let me get that. This is our uh, first Timothy, and this is what they teach, all right? They have fight clubs, it's a, and it's a money racket. <laughs> Perverse dispute in the men of corrupt minds. You got a corrupt mind when you get the youth in your church and your brainwashing. All right, so you can get their money because it's ultimately the brainwashing is to get your money. All right? Ultimately, the brainwashing is for to get your money, okay? The reason they want you there so much, they want you connected to the church, is because they want to get your money. These are men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. You don't have the truth there. If you're living according to modern day Christianity, you are going to um, be missile food, all right? If you call it on Jesus Christos, you're a dead man while you live, okay? Supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw yourself, all right? How about Shema Washai is not dealing with, because uh, you got a lot of money, you got a lot of gold, you got a lot of material wealth, all right? He don't give a fuck about that. He gives a fuck about you fearing him and living according to his word and gaining knowledge and wisdom, all right? All of that material wealth is going to come in the kingdom, man. All right? He's worrying about you becoming a new man, okay? A new creature. But godliness with contentment is great. All right? Being, ha being content with what you have, all right? And seeking your heart by Shema Shai, that's great. That's gain, okay? All right? All right? Let me get um, the book of Ezekiel, Yaka Zakaala. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel 34 and 10, and it reads, all right? Thus saith Yahweh, thy power, behold, I am against the shepherds, all right? And I will require, require my flock at their hand, and that's what we're seeing, all right? We, most of us brothers that's in this faith grew up in those whorehouses. We grew up in that folly, 
All right? And we've come out of that shit into the Most High's marvelous light and caused them to cease from feeding the flock. Now, the Most High about to shut their asses down. He, but they about to cease and desist from feeding these flocks, man, from leading the people astray. Their judgment is at hand. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves anymore. They're not going to be able to live these luxurious, luscious lives anymore, okay? They're not going to be able to shake the people down for money. The Most High is about to shut their asses up. I'm going to show you how. For I would deliver my flock from their mouth that they might not be meat for them, all right? Those guys are raving as wolves, and you are the prey. You got to come out of her. And the scriptures say, come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon. It's talking about coming out of these whole houses and churches for first and foremost. All right? For thus saith your heart, behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. And the Most High has been pulling a great number of us out of that wicked hell hole, man. Okay? Uh, this is Jeremiah. Chapter 5, verse 7, and it reads, all right? How shall I then pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and swarm about them that are no powers, okay? And that, that's what goes on in those churches, man. You call it out the Jesus Christos, another God, all right? It's, it's idolatry, all right? A sin punishable by death, okay? When I had fed them to the full, they committed adultery. And that's what goes on in those churches. First, you have spiritual fornication. Then you have, uh, first you have spiritual fornication. Then you have physical fornication going out through that whole house. It's all time, all type of manner of wickedness going there. You got, man, a lot of these pa those pastors be homosexuals too. They be having sex with the men and the women. And assemble themselves by troops in their holy houses, man. That church, man, Every time you go to the church, man, you got to have cops out there to direct the traffic. I grew up in that motherfucker. It's huge, man. It's huge, man. It probably sit, it probably sit about sit 8,000 people easily, okay? All right? They were fed horses. They were as fed horses in the morning. Everyone made after his neighbor's wife. And this is what goes on in those whorehouses, man. Shall I not visit? Shall I not visit for these things? And the Most High is visiting them now. The Most High is exposing them now. All right? The Most High is lifting up their skirts, making bare the leg. All right? And he's doing that in every facet of society, man. He's exposing these news commentators, Steve A. Smith and shit, and them, showing how they sellouts. They're doing the so-called white man's bidding, okay? Save your how. And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Indeed. Okay? So, it's a uh, hot time to see everybody that's dealing with folly be exposed and be judged for the folly that they've been partaking in. Okay? How about Shema Bashar, man? He's letting them expose each other. Now, for them to get exposed like that, this is what I was thinking. They must have did something, didn't pay tribute to the elites or something. Because Esau don't be giving a fuck about that shit. All right? He got, they, Esau loves a, 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 a whole house that got thousands of Jake in it. And, you, and they're teaching Jake nothing but lies. Nothing but fallacies. Okay? So, I wonder why, he, you know, and I'm, I'm just speaking as a man. It's not like Esau to put them on blast because they're leading so many people astray. They're doing their, bid, their bidding. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me get uh, the book of Titus. What I want. Um, no, I'm, I'm looking for who miles must be stopped. Uh, here we go. Here we go. This is uh, Titus 1 and 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers in the season, especially them in circumcision. And you know, you know that's amongst the truth. Amongst the Israelite camps, man, you got wolves amongst us, man, teaching things that they ought not teach. Like how our blessed Heavenly Father's name is just a title. All right? That's madness, man. All right? He shouldn't be teaching that. All right? His, ju his judgment is coming speedily if you don't repent. 
all right, whose mouths must be stopped. See, all of them mouths must be stopped. And the Most High is about to stop their mouths, mouths in the coming days. Who subvert whole houses. They leave whole houses astray, man. They destroy people, man. Okay? Through philosophy. Through all doctrines, okay? Teaching things that they are not. For 50 Lucas say it's all about money. Ultimately, all this shit is about money. Even if Esau is exposing them, Esau mad at them probably about money. Okay? One of them themselves, even a prophet of their own. You see, this is what's going on. Even a prophet of their own. They doing the bidding of the, de bidding of the devil, and the devil put them on prime time. They expose their ass. Said the creatures are liars, evil beasts, slow business. All right? The witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply. They, they may be sound in the faith. And we rebuking them sharply. Not that they be sound in the faith. That's for the elect. All right? But we sitting here rebuking them and exposing these lies of, of modern day Christianity. And we're showing who the wolves and sheep clothing is. That's the light of a man of the Lord. That's the light of a prophet. So with that, you how about Shimon Shah willing this uh, teaching was edifying to the hearers? I want to give infinite honors to our humble Father and our great King, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rukar Kadash, double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and um, Shalom to my fellow, fellow ladies in Yahweh Shah. Kwame Asherah, Baba Baba.